雨雨降れ降れ母さんと、じゃあ飲めお迎え嬉しいな。ピチピチチャップチャップランランラン。I used to live in Kure, not far from Hiroshima. See, we was bomb, bomb dropped from the center of Hiroshima here, 34 miles from、um, dropped there. But、uh, we had to school at eight o'clock in the morning. And that morning, B29, that's prime. Normally, coming, they're gonna, you know, siren goes, but that morning didn't. Very quiet. I can't hear nothing. We can't hear nothing. Next m e a n s just a flash, like, you know, you take a photo at night time. Then we can't see nothing for 15 minutes. We're looking for each other. Where are you?、Then? 15 minutes of open eyes, I saw the all big mushrooms on the sky. So that's a very, very powerful one. And、uh, they had a great big shelter, about a thousand people in it. We used to hide, but I was in there. So looking for my girlfriend, in, and I knew she went in a thousand people in there. Or walking, looking for her, or just suffocated dead. So I walk through there, dead people. I find my girlfriend. That's all things I just never forget. I lost a lot of friends and uncle and aunties, especially my sister on the way to work, got the killed. Too young. Dropped out to Mikubon to Nagasaki, and then we had to surrender because too many people. Million people die. When I met the Roy, see, we married in 21. I used to work in the office as a typist. Then I used to work in the same office together. They used to be in the army, so same room. And we used to chat, whatever, that's how I met him. He had to discharge the army, come back to Australia. Then he joined the army again, to, went to the Korean War to come back to see me. And、one time by then, he、uh, used to write the four letters a week, never missed. So I thought he loves me more. So I decided to work very, very hard to leave my own country, leave my mom and all her friends. So I said to Roy, give me a chance to think about it, a few months, whatever. Love is the strangest thing, isn't it? But the very, very sad, I still I can see mom say goodbye to me. Eleven Japanese bride on the boat, Chinese ship were coming. Three weeks took from Japan to here. And then I was on the, on the ship, I got a telegram came. I said, I'm waiting for you for darling in Sydney, waiting for me. So I jumped up on the joy. I kissed this telegram, I still got him in there. I still got to keep the jackets here. He had t h a t brown jacket. And、uh, he was waiting, and I had a white dress. I remember that. But、um, but 11 Japanese b r i d e on the ship. We stay over there for a couple of days, and then go to go to train, come home to Wagga Wagga. My father in law picked me up from、um, railway station. They used to live at the Bessel Street, Lloyd's parents. So when my father and driver, I thought it was I'm at Hawaii. Because all the pine trees there in the best of the street. I thought, oh, gee, that's it. Like Hawaii is beautiful, isn't it? It was very, very difficult when I came here because w a g a is a very, very racist place. And I had a very, very hard time. Never was not too bad, but I used to get threatened letters and all this and that. But I went to through that. Most of the hardest part is、uh, um, religion. So many different religions, I can't understand. Everyone tried to help me, you know, now and after that, but I tried to help myself. I had a wonderful husband to support me, so I went through. People used to stare at me, catch a bus and nuts, and you know, with the children when kids w a s little. They soon catch a bus, everyone looking at the kids, and then look at me like that. See? Different nationality. And Roy used to go to w e r e m a d at me, go around the shopping, I used to walk behind him. He said, Don't do, do that again. He said, You're not a dog. I said, But in Japan, the men walk before me. This is not Japan, so come on, he used to say to me.
I did a lot in my life. First job was a hospital, second job used to work doc Dr. Osborne's mother's hairdresser. I'm not a hairdresser, but I used to do beauticians and all that. I went through the course for that. Now after that, I worked at Edmondson's, part-time job in all different sections. Then best and best job come up, put him in, and head office come from Sydney, interview, and I got the job. So I worked in the fashion for 25 years. I used to do the cooking at the showgrounds, so they asked me to go on the TV for the first time I went to the cooking. I cook a sukiyaki. Now that's the first session was. Now when I come back, Roy said, oh, you made so many mistakes. I said, what do you expect? Because first time, good job at the table there, so my leg is shaking. But no one saw that part. But TV on the front of me, I can see and see what I'm doing, right? That's the part I hate it. After that, just pretend I'm nobody there. So I go every Wednesday. Yeah, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah, cultures, languages, all those, all sorts of things. They ask me to do such, so yes, I will. I was pretty young then. <laughs> Show how to put a Japanese costume on and all this. Yeah, I had my friend did a model for me, so I put the kimonos on it. Of course, Australia's in my home. I'm naturalized now, so. I got the, my boys born here, and my Australia, I'm Australia. I miss my country too. Homesick sometimes, every time I see the big praying go, so I want to go home. Here you go. Toso.